class is now in session. This is Weather You with Gabrielle Espinoza. Welcome back to another episode of Weather You. Today we're going to be talking about the types of fog, how fog forms, and how to safely drive in the fog. So we're taking a look at the picture behind me first. This was given to me by one of my coworkers, Gabe McDonald. He was out at a football game and it started to get pretty foggy. He was having a hard time keeping track of the football, even with the stadium lights up here, trying to illuminate the game. It was hard to get through all of this fog. Now, how did this fog form? Well, we're going to get into that in a second, but first we've got to get through the types of fog. There are five types of fog. The first three, radiation, advection, and evaporation can all form here. The last two down here at the bottom, upslope and valley, those aren't not going to happen here as we don't have any upslopes or any valleys. It's pretty flat here in South Louisiana. You'll have to get into the hills and into the mountains to be able to see the upslope and valley fog start to form. Now here's how fog is going to form. We're going to start out with a clear sky over the lake area, the downtown area, the Civic Center here. Now you can see all of this quite clearly. Clear skies as well. And we've got our thermometer and we're going to have a thermometer to read dew point as well. That's not actually how we determine dew point, but it's going to be a good measurement for now. So temperature over here in red and dew point in the green. Temperature measures how much heat is in the air or how hot it is and the dew point measures how much moisture is in the air. So as we go into the nighttime, we've got those clear skies. That means heat's going to start to escape the surface and go up into the atmosphere. And that's going to leave the surface and that means we're going to start to cool. So as we start to cool, we get closer and closer to that dew point. Now as the heat continues to leave, the temperature continues to drop. And as that temperature and the dew point get closer together, we're going to see fog start to form. Now it's getting kind of hard to see the lake area out there. Civic Center, you can't really see it. Now we continue to have those clear skies up above this fog. The fog forms at the surface when the temperature and the dew point get close together because condensation starts to happen near the surface when the temperature and the dew point get close together. Now, how does fog impact your morning drive or when you're driving anytime? So we take a look out into our car. We're going to start taking a drive across the area. We're going to see fog starting to form and it's going to be hard to see out there. Right now it's not too bad. You've got on your low beams, but you're, it's hard to see. So you think, let me flip on the high beam, see if that helps. Whoa, unfortunately, that's not going to help. As you turn on the high beams, that reflects the part, the water particles in the air right back at you. That light reflects back to you and it's going to be harder to see as you're driving with those high beams on those trees as you're driving by, getting kind of hard to see. So as you head out the door and it's foggy, remember to use those low beams. Now you can see those trees and see where you're headed. So remember to use those low beams if you're driving in the fog and add a couple of minutes to your commute for those who don't know to use their low beams. It'll be hard for them to see. So use your low beams and add a little bit of time to your morning commute if you have to drive in the fog.